There's nothing better than watching a good cartoon or movie. There we go. Hey, Anna! But did you catch all the times characters from other animations appeared in Disney movies? Please don't worry! This also happened in the latest Disney Pixar film, where a character from an unreleased movie appeared during Riley's emotional adventures. This happened when Sadness returns to the Emotion Command Center, bringing with her many memories of the Emotion's owner. And if you look closely, you'll notice that in one of the memory spheres, we see a small boy floating. This is exactly the same scene we see in the trailer for Elio, where the protagonist of the next Pixar film is abducted and ends up in the middle of an intergalactic council as the representative of planet Earth. It's that old habit of the biggest animation film company in history to always include Easter eggs of their upcoming films in previous productions that we love to see. Check out now all 16 hidden appearances of Disney characters in other movies. And as Pixar's tradition never fails in any of its films, the same thing happened in the movie before Inside Out 2, Elemental. But this was definitely one of the most well-hidden Easter eggs of all time, because it was very hard to find. If you've watched Up, you know that one of the best characters in the animated film is definitely Doug, the dog who befriends Carl and Russell. And we managed to find the protagonist's pet in one of the scenes of Elemental. It happens when Ember and Wade are at the fountain having a date. In the background, if we zoom in enough, we can see a person made of earth with a small dog, which is exactly Doug, but with a slightly greener color, as if he were covered in plants. This is definitely a cool reference. To be honest, this isn't the first time Doug is referenced in another Disney film, proving that everyone loves Carl's dog. The detail is that this reference actually happened in a movie that came out two years before Up. This happened in Ratatouille from 2007, where we see Remy entering a house and we can see the shadow of a dog identical to Doug trying to catch the little chef mouse. And as we mentioned, Up would only be released later, in 2009. Very cool early appearance of this character. Now let's talk about a really cool reference that links two very good Pixar films, but isn't necessarily a character appearance. When Joe is on the subway and hears a younger singer playing his guitar and singing his song, notice that behind them the subway number is 2319. This is exactly the emergency activation code number used in Monsters, Inc. for when one of the company's employees returns from the children's room with some quote-unquote contaminated item from the human world. This is definitely a reference that has everything to do with Pete Docter, the current head of Pixar who worked on both films. Speaking of Pete's work, he was also responsible for one of the best Disney movies of all, Inside Out, released in 2015. And in this film, we can also find a character from another of the company's animations. When Riley starts recalling fun moments with her family, she remembers the photo the family took on the way between Minnesota and San Francisco. The detail is that the dinosaur behind the Anderson family women is actually a reference to Forrest, a somewhat crazy dinosaur who collects animals and wants Arlo to give him the human boy named Spot. And both films were released in the same year. This isn't the only time we see a film referencing one of the Jurassic reptiles from the good dinosaur. In Monsters University, released in 2013, two years before the dinosaur and his human friend film, we see Arlo appearing in one of the scenes involving the university scare games. Between one scare test and another, we see the judges cleaning the children's room, and while sweeping the toys, look who's there, Arlo himself, but in a plastic version. This one was definitely hard to notice. I know you love to play, so check out this awesome Sonic toy for you to have fun with. Click the link in the first pinned comment and take it home. Another movie that Disney has announced for release soon is Mufasa, which will tell the story of Simba's father, the protagonist of The Lion King, and also reveal more about Scar, the franchise's main villain. But did you know that Scar has already appeared in another Disney movie? This happened in 1997 in the movie Hercules, where we see the demigod hero using a lion's pelt, which Phil, the small satyr who is his trainer, then uses to wipe the paint off his face. If you look closely, you'll notice that the lion in question is none other than Scar himself, which is easy to confirm, especially by the scar on his eye that gives the villain his name. I'm surrounded by idiots. If you watched Cars, you definitely had a happier childhood because of it. One of the most memorable characters from the first Lightning McQueen movie was the racetrack veteran Doc Hudson, who taught the film's protagonist that a trophy is just an empty cup if you don't have friends to share the happiness with. What's cool is that Doc had already appeared four years earlier in another of Disney's best films, The Incredibles. Being a powerful, classic, and very beautiful model, we can see Doc in the middle of the final fight between the superhero family and the villain Syndrome's robot in the city. This is a pretty cool pre-reference to Doc. Disney recently released the trailer for Moana 2, which reminds us that Moana, released in 2016, a year after Inside Out, was also an incredible success. In it, we can find some characters from other movies making appearances or being mentioned. One that appears is Baymax, the robot protagonist of Big Hero 6, or at least almost. 
When the Kakamora show up to try to steal the heart of Tafiti, we can see that among the pirate pygmies, one has a face painting that is identical to Baymax's face. Additionally, when Maui starts transforming into various beings, we see that at one point he turns into Sven, the reindeer who is Kristoff's best friend, one of the protagonists of Frozen. And at the end of Moana, we see Tamatoa, the giant crab villain of Maui, appearing once again. The villain is on his back and can't turn over, so he starts talking to the viewers and comments that if his name were Sebastian, we would help him. If my name was Sebastian and I had a cool Jamaican accent, you'd totally help me. Of course, the character he refers to is none other than Sebastian, the first and only crab from the classic The Little Mermaid, released in 1989, which had its live action released in 2023. If you really love cartoons, we have some incredible news for you. We've launched a new quiz channel. In it, we'll test our knowledge about our favorite cartoons and movies like Bluey, Peppa Pig, and many others. It will be a journey full of challenges, laughter, and lots of fun with Wavy. Don't waste any time. Subscribe now at the link in the description or point your camera at the QR code on the screen and start Start playing. I'll see you there. Since we mentioned Sebastian, he was the conductor of King Triton's kingdom, Ariel's father. However, in his spare time, it seems he had the habit of making appearances in other animated films. This is proven by the fact that we see him appearing briefly in the movie Aladdin, released three years after The Little Mermaid. The character appears when the genie is looking for something in his manual on how to make princes. Even the music from The Little Mermaid plays briefly when the character shows up. <laughs> In that same scene, actually a bit earlier, we see the genie, one of my favorite Disney characters, quickly transforming into another historic Disney character, but this one is even older than Sebastian. For a brief moment, the character with phenomenal cosmic powers transforms into Pinocchio, referencing the film about the wooden puppet who dreams of becoming a real boy, released by Disney in 1940, over 80 years ago. However, this is not the only time we see Disney's version of Geppetto's son appearing in another company film. If you watched Tangled, you definitely saw him, even if you didn't notice. When Rapunzel goes to the tavern with Flynn, and the thugs there throw a little party and sing one of the best songs in the movie, when the old drunk disguised as Cupid swings, if you pause at the right moment, you'll see Pinocchio comfortably sitting on one of the bar's wooden beams. To me, it seems Pinocchio hasn't come to life yet, but if he has, he certainly looks quite comfortable. Today, we all know Pixar for its excellent films, but in the past, the company not only made good movies, but also very cool short films. One of them is Jerry's Game, where an old man simulates a chess match against himself. And who would have thought, a few years later we would discover that Jerry is actually an excellent toy repairman in addition to being a brilliant chess player. That's because he was hired in Toy Story 2 to give Woody a makeover after he was kidnapped by a toy collector. Notice that they are the same person. Speaking of Pixar's old shorts, one of the first made by the animation giant was Tin Toy, which introduces us to a little tin soldier and a baby who today looks a bit scary. Ah! But back in 1988 was something amazing. In fact, this short inspired the creation of the biggest animated film franchise of all time, Toy Story. And after a 32 year wait, Little Tin was finally honored and appeared in Toy Story 4 in 2019. In the scene where Bo Peep takes Woody to a toy-only party, we see that the entrance guard is none other than Tin himself, still playing his little accordion, just like in the short film. This was definitely a well-deserved reference to Little Tin. These are just some of the times Disney characters appeared in other Pixar movies. We have other videos here on the channel where we show other appearances just as cool as these. The video is ending, but that doesn't mean you have to stop having fun, so just choose one of these two videos on the screen and click on it. Thanks!